Hi guys, my name is Bart Kamski and this is Unreal Engine 4 Minutes tutorial and this is second part uh, for my opening doors tutorial and in the previous tutorial uh, you can watch it here and it is necessary for this part uh, we made a mechanics to open doors but the thing was that those doors open always open at the same side so it op opens okay here but if we go another uh, from the opposite direction, it overlap with our character. Uh, it's it's it, it is not working. So we're gonna uh, make a mechanics to detect the location our character depending on the door, and the door will door will always open opposite side of the character. So let's get right into it. Uh, you should already have this mechanics from previous tutorial, and here we need to get first we need to get uh, doors forward vector so uh, forward vector of the doors is probably this way so no matter if we rotate the um, uh, door it will the vector forward vector will be different so we need that because we need uh, rotation of the door on the level so no matter how uh, we rotate the door this mechanics will always work so we need get for get actor forward vector here we go and we need also actor uh, location location yes and this is going to be location of our third person character so target is gonna be third person character and we copy it and we need location of our door so we need the, sa the same node but target is self and this is doors blueprint so it's gonna be uh, this node without anything plugged here okay so now we need to subtract one from from the other to have the vector that gives us the distance um, between our character and the doors distance and also rotation and actually we don't need distance at all it doesn't matter we only care about the rotation so we need we can normalize this vector so it will uh, only leave us the rotation of the vector and the length be always be one and then we need to check if this vector uh, doors forward vector is equal to our uh, vector that is between us and the doors and it needs to be equal but it needs to be equal uh, less than 180 degrees so it's need to be equal um, hmm, how to explain it if you are on this side of the door it's need to be it's need to be true but if you are on this side on the door it's need to be false so the tolerance uh, is very is very high the tolerance between those two vectors need to be very high need to be 180 degrees so if we set up one here it means that if those vectors are uh, those angles between them are less than 180 degrees which is half of the full circle it gives us true so now we can create a variable and let's name it direction or whatever and we, we need to set up it but we need to set it up here because every time we enter our collision box that is uh, our door collision box we will set up this either true or false depending on which side of the doors is our character and then we need to change our angle because our default angle is 90 but it has to be minus 90 when we are on the other side of the door so let's add pin here and let's uh, select float here so this is the node that let us select flow so we get direction right here because we set it up here and we get it here and if this direction is true our door will our angle will be multiplied by minus one so if we get 90 we will get uh, minus 90 and if it's false it's gonna be multiplied by one so nothing will change and let's check it out yes it opens outside from this way but what about this way 
Yes, it still opens outside. Great. But what if we t take this door and rotate it? Because this should work as well, but it's always better to check. Yep. Yes, it's working. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe, leave a like and see you next time. Bye.